Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Crazy Craft. In today's episode, we have for you the first episode where we're going to actually get to go into the Witch's Dimension and explore it without dying. That's the goal. We're going to get into there and not have it be a nightmare. Now, if you don't remember what happened last time, we pretty much made ourselves through the entire episode. It took a whole episode, but we made ourselves a portal and a way using Brews of Sleeping in order to get to a different Witch's Dimension. And the problem was, every time we went there, it had has a high chance of being a nightmare unless you build yourself a dream weaver and the way you do that is by getting yourself some disturbed cotton making sure you put it using a witch's spinning wheel and get yourself some twine from that and from there you can actually end up making a dream weaver along with a couple other potions along the way you'll see it's a little complicated process but it's something we can easily do and will do by the end of this episode so we're gonna do that and then hopefully by then we'll be able to explore around the other world without it being a nightmare and collect ourselves some regular cotton and some other other things that we can use for the witching mod in the future. Now off camera, I spent a lot of time preparing for this episode, as you know by the last one as well, because witches mod videos take forever. They, they literally take a they, they take at least, I mean I prepared probably about an hour and a half to two hours for this video coming up here today. So please smash that like button if you enjoy these awesome episodes. But this right here is the newest addition to our house. So we've got the duplicator room which has yet to be fixed with all the beavers. Mitchell. And then we got this room right here, which is sick. It's it's basically just our witch's room. So we got two rooms now. We got a witch's room and we have a duplicator tree room. And then we have our armor stand hallway, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's more of a hallway than anything else, but overall really cool setup and i guess let's get underway so i made a checklist for myself on the side here and the first thing on this is get disturbed cotton using icing picks or uh, so pretty much the way this works if you take the icing needles and if you go to the other dimension by drinking some brews of sleeping right here that i crafted up in between episodes uh, when, you, when you're in the other dimension, you're allowed to bring icy needles with you. And all you have to do is right-click the icy needle, and instead of having to die to come back, you can just come back anytime you want. You, you don't have to die anymore. Isn't that, isn't that a lot? Does that sound just like a million and a half times better than dying repeatedly over and over again? I mean, I don't know. Call me crazy. I, I personally thought that that was revolutionary. There we go. We got seven of those. So we need it because we need to make some Reek of Misfortune, uh, which is used for, actually, believe it or not, it's used on the spinning wheel along with the twine from the cotton. Uh, and regular string as well is used for it. So we actually do need it. it. It sounds crazy enough, I know. But, I mean, how many things in this mod are already insane enough? Like, you kind of just come to accept that the mod doesn't need to make sense. It just... It does as it pleases. I guess that's the only real way to put it. Oh, here we go. We got birch wood. We can just use that. Why the heck does it... I don't get why crafting sometimes it glitches like that. It, it just gave us only... What the heck? Gave me like... Gave me a piece. One of the pieces got eaten. That's so weird. So it basically... It ate six pieces. Like, I don't... I don't get this sometimes. It, it does that pretty often, too. All right. Well, we got to make sure we have enough that we can at least get one reek of misfortune. So we might have to go out... And get more fuel source for it. Uh, yeah, looking around, actually, we don't have... Okay, um, yeah, let's go topside then, and let's go get, uh, let's go get ourselves some wood then. We'll get ourselves some wood that we can use as a fuel source for now. Uh, a lot of times when you're cooking these things up, if you're cooking up any kind of sapling or wood, you have a good chance of getting some charcoal, uh, or coal. Well, not coal, you get charcoal from it. So there's a good chance of that happening. So that could help us out a little bit. You know, it'll... Board is in the right direction anyway. Here we go. We'll drop in uh, charcoal. And actually, we don't even need to anymore. We already got one reek of misfortune, which is... Actually, wait, no, we might need more. Come to think of it, we might need a couple. Uh, let me think real quick, because the way it works, to get one of these, I'm just trying to get tormented twine, it takes four disturbed cotton to get a single one, which I guess technically means we're going to need, and we need three of them. Oh my god, we're actually going to need... We're going to need a lot more than this. Okay, so let's keep dropping in the Adler saplings. There, or the Alder. The Alder saplings. There we go. We're going to need... Hopefully from this batch we'll get at least three more. That's all... Or two more. Two more. Uh, and in the meantime, let's head off into the other dimension and get ourselves some more disturbed cotton. We need 11 more pieces total. And basically, every time we spawn in here, that's the challenge. We have to spawn into this other world and not get eaten alive by nightmares now the only problem is we can only go during the night when there are nightmares so literally we have to just run around and try and collect the cotton before the nightmares can catch us if you missed last episode please watch it because it explains a lot of what's going on it's really sick 
Uh, next episode tomorrow, I'm going to need some suggestions from you all about what we should do because I'm kind of willing to take a little short break from anything wishy or uh, witch mod related. Uh, just because of how stressful and... Oh, there's the nightmare right there. Just because of how stressful and uh, difficult the mod is. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do something a lot more fun. So please, comment down below with any ideas you may have. Um, they're all greatly appreciated, and anything would be better than just repeatedly dying over and over again to these nightmares. But I'm just kidding. We're not, we're not going to have that problem. Like, realistically, we, we won't once we get... Well, at the end of this episode, it will never be a problem again. Except sometimes it will, but... That's because the way the Dreamweaver works, I guess I should explain, is it gives you a 50-50 shot of not being in a nightmare, but you still always have that 50% shot of being in one. And there's other things you could do to lower the risk as well by like 10%, like uh, by putting like flour or by putting cotton near you and a couple other things. But realistically speaking, it's it's always going to be a gamble. It always is a gamble. All right, I don't know how this nightmare hasn't caught up to us. That's why we've been sprinting the whole time, by the way, is because the nightmare will just destroy us if he gets a hold of us. He, he literally will two or three shot us. So we got to get away. Oh, no, witches. We don't need you, witches. Get out of here, witches. Get out. Oh, my God. We're running out of food now. We're about to run out of sprint. I hope I can get to just a field of this disturbed cotton. We only need... We already have one. And we have six in our hand right now. So we have seven total. Uh, Yeah, we have seven total. This is not good. We're going to have to get... Lucky. Just give me five more. Five more of these bad boys. Okay, he's not around here. The nightmare isn't around here. This is so weird. I'm amazed. I'm literally amazed he hasn't killed us yet. Okay, well, let's just keep on keeping on then and and enjoying our luck. Um, I don't even know where. If he's going to come by in a second and eat us alive or what? Well, let's... No, there he is, there he is. I was going to say, let's eat the carrots while we have a chance. But we don't really get much of a chance there. He just literally came out of nowhere to try and eat us. Okay, so this area right here again. There was cotton here earlier, right? It was around here? Okay, there's definitely cotton around here earlier. Okay, let's see. Oh, there he is, there he is. We can keep on eating and keep on running at the same time. Oh, it's an Azor Blast. I keep missing that. Oh my god, there he is, there he is. No, we died! Oh man, well we got six more disturbed cotton. So we can always keep that going. And oh, we got the reek. We got the reek that we needed, which is always great. So we put the reeks away like that. And seven of them. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely, everyone. But it's not, it's definitely by no means an easy task. All right, is that, oh, I think that's it up there. No way, that might be more Azor. Come on. I wish you would spawn us in a different place every time, because it keeps spawning us in the same place, and we already know there's not much cotton around here. Um, Alright, let's run through the fields. Run through the fields. Get me out of here! Get me out of here, please! I don't want to die! Box don't want to die! Man, see, I think I like about Crazy Craft is it gets us doing insane missions and exploring different mods that we normally wouldn't. Like, to be fair, unless this was in Crazy Craft, there's no way I'd put this much time into learning a mod. But because it's in Crazy Craft, it gets me going. Like, I actually get excited about episodes like this. It makes me want to do, like, research beforehand, get ahead for the episode. It's, I don't know. I personally just absolutely love Crazy Craft. And I, lo I love doing things like this. They're a lot of fun for me. They're challenging. But, oh no, oh no. I don't know if you guys just saw that. But there was totally a nightmare just right there, just chilling. Literally just chilling right there as if nothing was wrong. Little did the nightmare know that I knew something was very, very wrong. Okay. Come on, come on. Literally, this is insane. How have we not run across any more cotton? It's It has to be around here. It's not like there's anywhere else to be. Oh, my God. Oh, he tanked us. All right, at least we have... To be fair, we have 15 more attempts at this, so it's not like it's not like it's going anywhere, but still. Oh, there's our nightmare friend. And by nightmare friend, I mean not friend. And by not friend, I mean guy trying to kill us. And I don't have any more euphemisms, right? Yep, he's just gonna kill us. He's gonna skin us alive and eat us because he's a nightmare. And he's terrifying. Do 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 do. Okay. It's so scary, too. Like I actually feel like I'm in a nightmare because I just have this thing that teleports and chases me around, and you can't kill him, and he can only kill you, and you're pretty much just destined to die. It literally is... It, this is a horror scene. That's what this is. This is indeed a horror scene. Okay, what are... These aren't... That's not, right? That's peony. I was gonna say, that's, that's a normal vanilla Minecraft flower, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, let's see if we can find some more cotton patches around here. Oh, get out of here. No, spiders, come on. We're barely able to survive the big man himself killing us. I don't think you'll realize we don't want you trying to kill us too, spiders. So, sorry, your time will come. Your time will come in due time. Whoa, look at this tower. The villages in this are so much cooler. Like, I wonder what's... I wish I could explore the top of that tower, but I'm gonna have to wait for for us not to be in a nightmare and it be daytime so that we can actually do stuff like that. Oh, God. We got caught up there for a second. Nope, we don't want to go down that cave there. Creeper, get away. Oh, I thought that creeper was going to blow up and kill us, but we somehow got past him. And now Doomsday. In before Doomsday. Ah, there's Doomsday. Oh my gosh, he got us again. All right, well, I'm going to cut the video here until I get myself the cotton. So I'll be right back, everybody, because I know you guys don't want to just see me failing miserably a billion times trying to get this cotton. Because that's literally, I mean, that's what's happening here. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. But I know you guys don't want to see it. So we'll be right back as soon as I get myself the cotton or find a cotton patch anyway. All right, we've got a couple more pieces of wispy cotton here. We got three. Oh, no, no, the nightmare's trying to kill us, though. We need two more. Oh, God, we ran out of sprint. This might be the end of our little adventure Rooney this time around. Wait. Actually, where is he? He's not here. He's literally just letting me get full food. Well, perfect. Let's take that. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Let's take this and run. Take this and run. Oh, guards. Yes, guards. Do you, do you kill nightmares? I hope they do. I, I have no idea if those guards kill nightmares or not. I kind of hope so. And by kind of, I mean, like, please, please kill him if I'm lucky. Okay, two more. Two more wispy cons. I found one off camera, and then I started it back up as soon as I found that collection of two. Because I was like, well, there's got to be more nearby. But apparently there still isn't. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Well, at least hopefully the next deposit, if it has two more as well, we're set with 12 pieces of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It seems that it takes four of the cotton alone to get one piece of the tormented twine. That's the only ridiculous thing here. That is like the, the most ridiculous part. Okay. Well, hopefully, does it spawn in snowy? I mean, I get, I think it spawns in every biome in this mod, but I'm not sure if it'll spawn in, in this biome here. This is kind of snowy. It's a little weird. Huh. If I was, if I was cotton, where would I be growing? That's the question I should be asking. Oh, look at it. We're all lit up now. Everything's all happy. Ow. There's, honestly, in this dimension, the witch's dimension, there are so many villages. It's actually insane. Like, I can't wait to explore this place during the daytime and really get to experience how many villages there are everywhere. All right, so I see the cotton. It's right below us. The problem is there's a nightmare right below us as well. Right there waiting to eat us. And we don't have the health to jump. All right, here we go. We're just going to have to run around him. Run around. Juke. Oh, my God, the jukes. The jukes! The jukes! Come on, come on! Yes, we got the three! We got the big three! Finally! We can bring these to the overworld. Let's use an icy needle there. And now, we have 12 total of them. Now, do I feel special or what? There we go. Well, let's go ahead and we'll put ourselves with the Reek of Misfortune in there. String. And the hard part is completely over. So, theoretically, I think that's supposed to start going, right? Isn't that... Let me see. It's four wispy cotton or disturbed cotton to make tormented twine, string, and reek of misfortune. Reek of misfortune, string, disturbed cotton. That should work. What What is going wrong here? Oh, is it because I put... Maybe I'm only supposed to put one at a time? Could that be it? No? One, two, three, four... You think that's? Wonder why it's not working. Why is this not making four disturbed cotton turns into torrent of twine, string, and a, a, and a reek of misfortune? What am I not getting here? Okay, so I found out the problem was that it needs to draw power from a nearby altar. So I didn't think that went through, and I forgot to move the altar downstairs. So I guess we'll just put that there for now, and then I guess at the end of this episode, I'll go ahead and you know take care of that one. But theoretically, yeah, now it's, see, now it's starting to spin. It knows how dire the situation is now. Okay, so while that's going on, 
making twine. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a... Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to make myself... Well, let me just chop some of this alder wood down here. But I'm going to make myself a nice little item frame. Uh, we need the item frame to make ourselves the... Oh my god, did we just get... We got glitched. We just got, we just got the plank glitch except with sticks. That's so... Oh my god, I did it again. Why does that keep... Literally, though. Why does it keep turning intervals of four into... Oh, that's annoying. That's super annoying. Let's see how this is coming along. Okay, well, at least we're getting these done. At least we're getting those. And I guess we're going to have to go out into the great beyond over here and get some regular wood. Just grab a bunch of sticks that way. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see if I can grab a blaze. Fly over there a little quicker. There we go. Speed up the process a tiny bit, huh? And then we can... Mine away. Oh my god, I can't see anything because I'm on fire! I forgot that blazes were on fire. They don't I don't like it. I don't like being on fire. It's not it's not my happy place. Oh my god, we just got glitched on that. Which means we're gonna get glitched on these. That's insane. Okay, someone's gotta get to the bottom of this glitch. It's only on the Crazy Craft server, I've seen it. And I don't know why it keeps happening, but for whatever reason, we just keep on getting glitcheroonied with that, and it's kind of annoying. Okay, well, let's hope that we don't get super glitched on this one. Um, oh, for a second I thought we only got half glitched, but nope, I was wrong. We got full glitched. There we go, we got ten, seven. We need one more. Okay, just one more. And then the box can be happy. So let's take this. Okay. And then one more stick. Do, 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 do. To build. The picture frame, perfect. Now all we need to do is grab that leather from over here. And we can get ourselves a nice little item frame that looks very pretty. And we can bring our disturbed cotton downstairs, our tormented twine, sorry. We bring our tormented twine downstairs. Do to do to do. And we have, we're about to have an item frame. Let me just fix that there. Item frame, check. And I'm gonna start making a little area in this right here, just a item frame, tormented twine, and what else are we gonna need for this? Uh, we need, oh, we need two chicken feathers. We also need a diamond vapor. I think I have some diamond vapor left over. Yeah, I have diamond vapor left over from off camera, my off camera days, so. There we go, we got that. Check. Uh, so we got three parts of it done. Now all I really need are feathers. Uh, a night vision potion and a poison potion and they aren't that difficult to make so for the potion of night vision we just need to take some nether wart I'll just take all of it right there we need golden carrots and they need to be they need to be actually I'm just gonna break, take all this because they need to be uh, splash potions and they need to be high duration I don't know who decided that and why they decided to torture us but they did so we're just gonna have to deal with it there we go uh, and let's drop in there now. Well, first off, we need the nether wart. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other three bottles prepped up and ready to go with the other potion. One, two, three. Here we go. Boom, boom. Drop that nether wart in there. Okay, and then after the nether wart being this one we're building, the night vision on, we need to drop the golden carrots. So we'll just go golden carrot. And then I think after that, it's just redstone to make it a longer duration. And then we just drop gunpowder in there if we want to make it splash. So that's always good. And then for this one, we drop, for poison, I believe it's just a spider eye. Could be wrong about that one. I'm not the most... Honestly, I think I know more about witchery potions than I do making regular potions in Minecraft. I know it sounds crazy, but I just never really learned. Like, I never really bothered with potions. It just never really... I don't know why, but I just never really did it. It never really interests me too, too much, but probably should get into it. And let me just make sure I got this right. Dreamweaver, and it says just in long duration splash potions. I mean, can you do more duration than, no, eight minutes is definitely the most. I've, I, I know that much. All right, here we go, gunpowder then. We drop the gunpowder in, and then we're basically done, except, oh, we need the chickens too, actually. We do need to get, I can't believe after all this time, now all that's left is a hunt down chicken so while that's actually doing that we couldn't just go out into the real world and hunt down unless do i have any feathers i mean it'll it'll shock me if we don't have any 
Oh, maybe not. I mean, and Pac-Man ate most of our stuff. So, I mean, even our beginner stuff is just all beyond gone. It's, it's literally all gone. So, I guess, yeah. That's interesting enough. Oh, well. Off we go to find a couple of chickens, which shouldn't be that difficult. And like I promised, by the end of this episode, we will be able to get to the witch's dimension without dying. That is the goal, and that is what will be accomplished. So that's that's what we're doing. All right, let's keep looking around now for some poor defenseless chickens that are about to be slaughtered by the bok for feathers. And nothing more, nothing less. Not even going to eat the chicken. I just want the feathers. Where are you? You should be able to shear them. I mean, I know it doesn't really work like that. You can't just shear feathers, but there should be a way to, like, pluck feathers from a chicken without killing them. You know, it's just so inhumane sometimes. No, but actually, it would be cool, though, if you could do that. And then you could keep the chicken. So if you had a chicken farm, you could just keep getting feathers, I guess, without having to actually kill them. I don't know. Makes a lot of sense to me. But chickens are very quick to reproduce. They drop eggs all the time. You just throw them, and then they're just simple. You don't even need to really breed them. So I guess, you know, it makes sense why they don't want that, why you have to kill them just because they're so easy to breed, but still. And who keeps opening up these weird dungeons all around us? They're everywhere. They're literally all over the place. Like this one right here. Some just, people just keep opening them up and just leaving them everywhere for people to find. It's kind of weird. All right, we finally found one of the little pesky chickens. And one, two, that's all the feathers, believe it or not, that we need. All that trouble, and that's all we needed, was just two simple little feathers. And we got all that, and we should have all of our potions, and I think we're finally ready with a Dreamweaver to go ahead and hopefully not have a nightmare. So wish me luck, everybody. And then once again, we can leave the witchery mod alone for a couple episodes at least, and start doing other fun things. I might do like an inventory pets episode after this, just because I want to do something lighthearted that's fun and easy and just, you know, it's a good time. These ones, not that they're a bad time, they're a great time, but it's just they are so stressful. They really are. They're difficult. Very difficult. Okay, so we got, I think we basically should have everything right there. Perfect. So let's go to the crafting table. There we go. And let's plop these all in. We got three tormented string. Check, check. Two feathers. Night vision goes on the right. The poison goes on the left. Uh, the item frame goes in the middle. And then the diamond vapor goes up there. And boom, dream weaver of nightmares. And now I believe we just kind of put that anywhere we want. And here we go, everybody. This is the moment of truth. Theoretically, we should have a 50-50 shot. So we're going to try these out until we get it down. Let's see. Nope. All right. That one was apparently bad. Let's try again. Here we go. Going back in. Going deeper, Leo. Here we go. Well, that one definitely was a nightmare. Here we go. Giving it another try. We're just literally dying. Uh, I think, unfortunately... Okay, let me pick that up. I think unfortunately, because I keep spawning where all the mobs are, let's try and choose a different, because it does depend on where you are in the overworld for this to take work, or take effect. So, let me see. Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, it's nighttime. No, stop it. The way you can tell, once again, nighttime means that you screwed up. Nighttime means that you're in a nightmare. Yeah, there we go, okay. Let's see. I'm going to look this up real quick and make sure we're not doing anything wrong because we've been having extraordinary bad luck with this. So give me one moment. No, but it appears like we just keep getting unlucky. So let's hope that this one is... No, that one wasn't it either. That's so strange. Here we go. Going back in. Wait. Wait a minute. No way. We did it. It didn't turn... It didn't turn to daytime. I mean, it didn't turn to nighttime. We finally got to access this world without dying. This is what it looks like, everybody. So now we have access, because we were able to do this, we have access to a ton of different things in the witchery mod. Different potions that we can only make here, different rites of summoning and things like that, which we haven't even touched upon yet. But we're going to be raising demons soon, which is going to be pretty crazy. Um, just all sorts of cool stuff. But wow, it's just incredible to finally be in this dimension and not have to worry about dying every five seconds. Well, we did it, everybody. We finally, finally did it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button and stay tuned for more awesome episodes of Crazy Craft in the near future. Next episode, once again, be sure to or this episode, comment down below with what you want to see next episode because we're going to be taking it extra easy and doing something just fun and relaxed. So thank you.